The wars in Korea and Vietnam, like many other conflict scenarios, left significant lessons for the United States forces. Because beyond the difficulties or challenges they had to overcome at those moments, over time they were also able to capitalize on each experience to create new generations of weaponry. An example of this was the development of the powerful F-22 Raptor. This fighter jet was the result of several decades of aerial duels that allowed Washington to design the combat aircraft of the future. The goal of the world's first fifth-generation fighter jet was to achieve air superiority, and it certainly succeeded. Despite having ceased production over 10 years ago, it continues to be a cornerstone of the USAF, and many consider it invincible. For that reason, in this new video from Military Aviation, we will not only learn more about the astounding capabilities of this formidable flying machine, but we will also discover whether the F-22 is impossible to defeat or if it has already been effectively taken down. Without a doubt, the F-22 Raptor marked a before and after in the world of combat aircraft. Its development took place in the 1990s, and the ambitious project included unprecedented features. By the 2000s, it entered the ranks of the United States Air Force and became the most advanced aircraft in the world. We're talking about a single-seat, twin-engine fighter jet, nearly 19 meters in length and 14 meters in wingspan, yet capable of passing by its enemies' noses without being detected. This is thanks to its most innovative quality, stealth technology, which allowed it to become the world's first fifth-generation aircraft. This characteristic stems from a design intended to reduce radar, infrared, acoustic, radio signal, and even visual signatures. The F-22 achieves this through a fuselage developed with special materials and angular, flat shapes. Additionally, it wasn't equipped with underwing pylons, instead, it carries its weapons in four internal weapon bays that open when attacking. There, you can find a varied arsenal, including bombs like the GBU-39 or JDAM, and AIM-9 Sidewinder short-range missiles or AIM-120 AMROM medium and long-range missiles. Furthermore, all these options are complemented by its 20mm Vulcan cannon, making it a formidable adversary against any opponent. Furthermore, the Raptor was also designed with modern radars and advanced avionics for electronic warfare and as a finishing touch, it was equipped with two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW-100 engines that provide excellent performance. It has a maximum speed of Mach 2.25, which is about 2,400 km per hour, an astonishing maneuverability thanks to this power plant and its thrust vectoring nozzles that can orient upwards or downwards for tighter turns. With this fighter, it seemed that the United States had truly succeeded in building the aircraft of the future. However, due to its exorbitant costs, F-22 production was halted in 2009 with just over 190 units completed. Part of the financial issues surrounding the project was also related to the fact that the Raptor was never exported abroad because the engineering secrets of this advanced aircraft weren't to be shared with other countries. While the lack of a commercial market around the fighter jet prevented further production, its astounding technology also found no rival in the world for many years. This is why we can now ask whether it still remains as powerful as to be unbeatable or if there are current threats that have posed challenges to it. We will begin to answer this question by exploring the potential rivals of the F-22, and the first leads us to China. This country raises the greatest concern for Washington in terms of the future, as its military growth includes the development of hypersonic missiles. These weapons travel beyond Mach 5, well above the speed of any combat aircraft, and Beijing believes this technology could be used to attack the most advanced American fighters. According to Chinese scientists, a land-to-air hypersonic missile could reach and destroy an F-22 in a matter of seconds if fired at close range. In order to overcome the challenge of the aircraft's stealth, these projectiles would be heat-seeking, meaning they can track the heat signature to hit the target with great precision. However, when making these claims, it hasn't been taken into account that the American fighter has a high ceiling of 20 kilometers and is highly maneuverable. 
If we add this to its stealth capabilities and powerful radars that allow it to know the threat's location before being detected, the F-22 will have a significant margin to evade the missile. Now, if such a weapon isn't effective enough, what about other combat aircraft? It's true that the Raptor was the world's first fifth-generation fighter jet, but now there are more of its kind. Not only has the United States developed a second example of this class for itself with the F-35, but Russia has followed suit with the Su-57, and China has done the same with the J-20. Nevertheless, despite the significant advancements achieved by its rivals, both foreign developments have encountered repeated issues that position them a step below the F-22. The primary advantage of both the Raptor and the F-35 over the designs from Russia and China is that the technology used by the Americans allows them to know their rival's position well before being detected. Moreover, their arsenal includes long-range missiles that could destroy enemies beyond visual range. But the alternatives for bringing down the F-22 don't end there when it comes to enemy combat aircraft. The weakness of the American aircraft might not lie in quality but rather in quantity. As mentioned before, with production cancelled at less than 200 units, squadrons have limited numbers of these aircraft. On the other hand, a country like China can use cheaper and less capable machines like the Chengdu J-10 and still give the Raptor a headache. The opportunity for Chinese fighters arises from their numbers. While an F-22 can easily destroy a significant number of J-10s, Beijing can afford to lose a dozen cheaper planes to take down one Raptor. In this scenario, even when the American fighter runs out of weaponry, there will still be Chinese aircraft ready to seize the opportunity to attack. Still, just like in the previous cases, the Raptor can use its capabilities to attack enemies from a distance and then escape thanks to its speed and maneuverability. However, the risk is increasing for the limited number of F-22s when considering a growing and increasingly advanced fleet like that of the eastern country. As we approach the end, the final stop to answer our question about the possibility of bringing down an F-22 suggests that, in fact, this military aircraft has already been shot down, but not as it might seem. It's true that the Raptor is considered to have been shot down on several occasions, but only in simulated battles. One such case occurred in 2009 during a joint training exercise with other Allied forces in the United Arab Emirates. On that occasion, a French pilot on a Rafale surprised an F-22 and defeated it in the simulated combat, highlighting that despite remaining one of the most powerful combat aircraft on the planet, the human factor continues to be crucial on the battlefield, and the influence of the pilot can make a huge difference. Now, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. And stay tuned to our channel for our next video.